tiny flying reptile Nemecolopterus was discovered in 2008 in China, province of Liaoning, by a group of Chinese and Brazilian paleontologists. The skeleton was virtually intact, although the remains of flying reptiles are often very fragile and preserved poorly. The name Nemecolopterus means flying forest dweller. Nemecolopterus is so small that it has given rise to arguments among scientists. Some consider it to be a baby, perhaps even a species that is already known, while others claim that the remains are that of a full-grown creature. It will probably take time and more fossil evidence before we find out who is right. For now, what's certain is that Nemecolopterus is part of a very interesting group of ancient reptiles that mastered flight and conquered the Mesozoic skies. These flying reptiles are called pterosaurs. They evolved a bit later than dinosaurs, about 228 million years ago, and became extinct at the same time dinosaurs did, 66 million years ago. Existence time, early Cretaceous, 120 million years ago. Wingspan, 25 centimeters, 9.8 inches. Body weight, 15 to 20 grams, 0.5 ounces to 0 0.7 ounces. <laughs> Look who's here! Little Min, the Nemi Colopterus. He's a flying reptile no bigger than a mouse. These creatures developed wings that are completely different from those of birds. Their forelegs, with their extremely long fourth fingers, formed a frame for a leathery membrane, the bottom of which was attached to their short hind legs. Pterosaurs had no feathers, although their bodies were covered with hair-like structures that served as thermal insulation and probably display, just like bird feathers do. They were warm-blooded creatures who not only glided above the ground, but also actively flapped their wings. Little Nemecolopterus lived in forests where it hunted for insects, briskly catching them in the air. Its leathery wings would flutter swiftly, making it look like a bat, but they are not related. Pterosaurs became extinct at the end of the Mesozoic era, 65 million years ago, leaving no descendants.